Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this week's video. This week's video, we have some uglies for you. It's been a little while since I've done this. I'm actually not sure when I last did it. I feel like maybe midsummer, maybe spring. I don't know, I'd have to look back and find out. But I do like to do these videos every now and again because I get some ugly things in here. Now, the reason why I end up with ugly looking plants is usually due to neglect because there are, I'll just be honest with you, there's too many plants uh, for one person working here and mainly it is me. So that's kind of why things get ugly, but that doesn't mean to say I can't show you. So today I have a range of uglies. Most of them are from neglect. Let me have a little look here. One of them is neglect, but also I think it's too variegated. So we've got something crunchy. Uh, one of them has died completely, which I'm kind of sad about. One of them is a propagation that is turning south. And I kind of want to show you just to show you that, hey, this can happen kind of thing. So why not? If we can learn from my mistakes, then we will. But most of the time, it's just a case of, hey, need to keep on this with water. A lot of the time in this shop, things go to water so fast because there's so many plants in a tray, you can miss waterings very quickly. Very, very quickly indeed. Anyway, enough of me talking. If you haven't already, please check out my merch. The link is in the description. I'm wearing a, I think this is an extra large t-shirt. I'm a very small person, so it, it looks huge on me. I do have a smaller size, guys. I just kind of like the big ones. I just feel a bit comfier in it. Really, these are the kind of things I wear at home, just walking around the house. So <laughs> I guess therefore it's fitting for a YouTube channel. I don't know. That makes no sense. Also, my feed, this is going really well. A lot of you are really, really enjoying this. I see nothing but positive feedback on this. Quick update before we begin. This is finally going to be going off to Amazon. You'll be seeing this on Friday the, is it 15th or something like that? Maybe, I don't know. But it will be going off to Amazon maybe the week after. So you might even get it in time for Christmas if we can pull our fingers out and get it to Amazon. We've had a lot of problems going backwards and forwards. We thought it was fixed and it wasn't, but now it's fixed. So it's ready to send off and we're going to be doing that very soon. So you can still buy it from me if you are in the UK. Otherwise, you can buy it from Amazon. If you want to stock it in your shop, again, get in touch. Why not? Why not? We will send it to you and you can get cracking with it. Anyway, let's just begin with today's video. Okay, so what am I going to go for? In no particular order... We're just gonna, we're just gonna tackle this. These are, and these are ugly, by the way. These are real ugly. This isn't just like, oh my God, this is so ugly. There's a little bit of a crunchy leaf. I'm like, no, 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 these are ugly. So anyway, let's get the first one. And I'm kind of sad about this. <laughs> because... <laughs> For the longest time, I tried to make sure this was watered, and it, it isn't. So it's dead for two reasons. One, do you even know what this is? I'm going to hold this right up and give you 10 seconds to guess what this actually is. If I just keep rotating it while I talk, please focus on it and not me. Sorry, my camera loves to do this. Focus, please. There we go. Oh my goodness, so 10 seconds turned into 20. So this bad boy here was a Calathea white fusion. And honestly, it suffered a little bit here and there quite often due to the pot it's in because it's small. It's in pond, if you must know. It was honestly doing fine. Most of the time it's because the the capacity for water in these tiny little Lachusa pots is so low during the summer it dries out real fast, real fast. Because if you're wondering where I keep them, can you see this here? I have like, you, these shelves are from Ikea and you can get these little sort of side clippy on bits and they just sit in those. And there's a couple of other things that have basically had the same fate happen to them. So it's basically just got dried out. And I'm really, really sad about it because it was my only white fusion that I even had. It wasn't even from a garden center, get this. It was from, was it from like Indonesia or something? I got it in like 2020 or something. Literally the most random thing ever because I, I couldn't get my hands on it. And for a large portion of the UK, I personally think, and you guys can disagree or let me know in the comments, I personally think it's hard to get them. Like you can't get a white fusion very easily at all. They're not known for being great anyway, but uh, <laughs> well, now it's dead. Um, would I get another one? Not for here, obviously. Would I get one for my house? I want to say yes, but I think the vibe of my collection when I when it goes in there is probably not going to be that. So I'd rather go for a different type of Calathea altogether. But I am still sad that this is dead. And I, like, really, I do think it is dead this time. I think it's, it's done for. There's like the tiniest bit of green where it's not quite sort of disappeared. But I mean, this is dead, guys. Look at this. It doesn't get much deader than that. So uh, there you go. Water your plants. <laughs> but uh, continuing with the theme of that, because I have plenty more where that came from. And again, same thing. Now, this one has been underwatered because it's been in moss. And although uh, sphagnum moss, I can't remember how many times it can hold its weight in water type thing, but it can hold several times its weight in water. So moss is really good at keeping more and water in. But when it is dry, it kills plants almost 10 times quicker than what lecker would, okay? 
So it's kind of double-edged sword. And this sat in a tray. I think it was further up. It got a little bit neglected anyway because it sort of reverted. And when that happens, I, I'll be honest, I do tend to get a little bit lazy. And that's happened with something else that I'm going to show you today. But I'm going to show you this because funny enough, I've neglected it. I've tried to sort of coach it back to life and it's started to variegate again. So I don't know if that's like thanking me for its existence. I don't know. And I can't remember what the name of this is. So if you could tell me again, that's great because I can't remember. Do you remember this beautiful, beautiful, bless its heart, variegated begonia? Because it started to variegate again. Let me hide my face. See this guy? I can't remember what his name is, but look at the state of him. <laughs> and I take full responsibility, guys, like literally. And I've said this before, but in these videos, I don't, I don't prep plants anyway at the best of times. I just like to leave them as they are because I'm just in the spirit of being quite transparent. So as you can see, I haven't, I haven't done anything with this. One thing I have done is, is that attached to it? Oh, I didn't know this. Oh, it's flowered, bless it. Oh, I feel really bad. I thought this was like debris from another plant that stuck to it, but it's not. Can you see this? It's flowered at some point. It's flowered. Flowered there. There's another one. There's another one. There's a few of them. They're just sort of dotted round, bless it. And now it's it's not looking so good. However, it's a variegation. Oh, there's no variegation on the new one. But we have hope, guys. So I guess my next question is, begonia lovers, how do I go about propagating this? Do I just do what I would do for an aroid? Because I've never propagated a begonia. I have a couple in this shop. I don't have a ton, but I have a couple. I've never propagated them. So I guess you'd have to tell me what to do. Other than literally doing instinctively, I would cut it and put it in water maybe maybe i could take it to my house and do it if the cats didn't get it and try and grow it again uh and i guess lose this i don't know you let me know in the comments what you would do with this to save it sorry this is not focusing on my face there you go i'm having i'm having a job on today with this camera you can't see what i can see i get if anyone has not used a camera before to do this i get a little box around my face when it's focusing on my face and the box just went it went to spiritus land i think so sorry if that keeps happening, I just think. If it finds a face in the background, it's going to try and focus on it. Anyway, let me know what you would do with this and how you would sort this, and I might give it a go. Can't guarantee it won't get neglected again, but we shall see. That's definitely not got any variegation on that, but it gave us a tiny bit. It never had a ton on it when I first got it in, to be honest, but I feel like because I've semi-brought it back to life, because it was, honestly, it was on its last legs, as you can tell, it's kind of rewarded me a little bit, so I feel like I owe it to try and restart it. Not necessarily even to sell, just for fun at this point, just for fun. So let me know what you think I should do with that. It's not something I'd have in my house, by the way, if anybody's wondering. It's, if I like, I mean, I don't like begonia. I like certain begonia, but this is probably not the vibe I would go for. I'd probably get something more angel wingy, I would say. Right, what can I do next? Okay, this one, oh bless it. It's a shame because this one would have sold uh, back in the day before it got crispy. So this is a situation where it's, I mean, it hasn't really been neglected as such. It's just got crispy under the lights. And that is this guy. This guy is, I assume, a Monstera Aurea small form. It won't be a large because they're always, we mark those in the bottom. So if it's not, then I know that it's it's small form, basically. But as what's happened here, and it can only have happened due to this because all of the, the crunchy bits are on places where there is solid variegation. And that's just a shame. I mean, the new one's looking great. Love that. But the old one's a bit balked now. So if I just show you this, you can see there the bits where it was solid yellow, it's gone kaput, especially this one. You can see there by looking right here that it was solid as well. It's a shame. Now, I'm, honestly, this is not the only one that this has happened to. Hasn't happened to all of them by any stretch but there are a good few where they've got a bit crispy. Certainly higher up where they've also ran out of water and had too much light. I find it's the combo of both a lot of the time. A regular watering does this anyway a little bit, but I just find with Aurea, I don't know if anybody else does, but I find it way worse than even things like Albo. I just, I don't know what it is. Aurea just seem a little bit more difficult to care for than Monstera Albo. Let me know in the comments if you agree with that, but it's just something I've found. I've always found it. They don't grow quite as quick. And I don't find them quite as reliable. Variegation wise, fine. They're about as good as Albo. I don't, I don't notice anything on that end. It's more crispiness for sure. Because I actually have, if you remember ages ago, this tree here, I chopped some leaves off it, right? And I did some props and I do still have them. Um, but those, there's the tiniest bit of crisp on maybe one, one or two leaves and it's on the very tip of like a fenestration, right? But the rest of it's fine. Whereas these have really suffered. So let me know if you find a difference there, but I definitely do. But yeah, that's clearly, bless it, it's a cute prop. All I can really do is just grow it on a little bit more 
probably plant it more, get some more roots out of it because that's just been left the way it is. If I submerge that more, we'll get some better roots out of it and just grow it on because th there's nothing wrong with this. It's not sellable now, but it will be if I actually just pull my finger out because that's really nice. It's a little bit much. Don't get me wrong. There is risk of this. There is a risk, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to pop him down. We'll continue on with the theme. Oh, this guy. <sighs> right. This guy has also been neglected and it's largely due to the area of the shop he lives in. That won't interest you because you don't know the full layout of this shop. But he doesn't live on these shelves. He actually lives round the corner where the shelves are at half of the height. So if you see this shelf here, can you see? Yeah, the shelf comes to here. So they're, they're normally for like seedlings, tiny little cuttings of plants, stuff like that. And to be fair, at the time, it was a tiny little cutting. Since then, it's got bigger. The roots are great because these plants are very strong. This is um, philodendron early marks mint <laughs> and the reason why it doesn't look so mint is because they were over there because they reverted and i basically chopped them up and thought let's just see if it comes back now again this is a little bit similar to the begonia i saved it the other week because obviously you can see a little bit of damage here loving that loving that but i saved it and as a result at least one portion of this plant has given me this bad boy so now i have to make sure i take care of it because i'd like some of this back i do have normal philodendron burley marks variegata the yellow one and i always say this it's in a tray back here i haven't touched that tray for ooh like two years literally two years that's a video in itself guys just to touch that tray just because the value dropped i had to just spend my time on the stuff that was worth more so that's that's kind of how this happens it's not ideal I'm not proud of it it's not how i would uh, invite anyone to run a shop but that's kind of what happens so with this it's good that it's come back and now it needs moved um i i could cut this again but i'm gonna wait a little bit longer and see what happens with this because I won't be able to show you very well, but if I show that to the camera, there is space to cut this. The variegated part is this, this petiole here. There is space to cut it, but I just don't think, why don't you want to focus on plants today, camera? Be very mean. I'm just not sure it's a good idea yet. This might be the only one that's come back in the whole tray. I think the rest of them are still green. So... I could have a look at the nodes in those trays and cut them down, try again. And I will do that over Christmas. Well, over Christmas, over winter time. And we'll see how they uh, progress. I was going to say transpire. I don't know if that's the right word, but I'll keep an eye on them anyway. But that's why this looks like this. It's because they were averted. I didn't really think they would come back. But I've said this uh, time and time again about variegated plants. Try not to do what I've done. Do 50% of what I've done. So do keep the reversion for a little while, right? Six months, put it in a corn. Doesn't matter how leg is ignore it right keep it watered so don't do this part where you forget about it just keep it six months guys six months six months see if it comes back it might trust me it might because i'm telling you now i can't see any variegation anywhere around here and yet it's come back you can't always tell you can most of the time but you can't always tell so just keep it six months gives you nothing in six months maybe think about getting rid of it if you want to get rid of it otherwise just you never know you never know because that's come back and i would love to get some props on it because such an easy plant and it'd be a really nice variation to have in the shop i don't know how these are doing nowadays i haven't checked i don't know but i think they're really good and it's a nice spin on the beginner's plant that everyone else has and if you collect stuff like that it is a nice one to have and these are easy plants by the fact it's managed to grow that much even though it's been pushed to near death because even these roots at the bottom are still very green and very juicy so i still stand by these plants i just i made a bit of an error but hey ho does this one have variegation Ooh, probably not so it's literally just this branch that's going to maybe have it because none of these do stay tuned for that right this is quite sad because this plant is worth quite a bit of money if I do say so myself and we had so much of it it was growing so well we weren't going to sell it for the rest of this year because it's got cold now so I thought right okay let's chop it and then for spring they will be ready and there'll be little plants and it'll be cute and unfortunately the risk with anything when you chop it <laughs> if you chop it aggressively like with certain plants we have to then it, the, these things can go south but I chopped a few that didn't have enough roots on it's it's very gay glorious and by the way just to give you the context before I hold it up I chopped some with roots on and I put blue tags in ones that when they're rooted and everything they are sellable so the variegation looks good there's enough in the node and there's enough root beneath the surface to for it to be valid plant so it's very unfortunate that here's my tag just to prove my point it's very unfortunate that this has happened now it doesn't mean that the prop's failing because to be honest it's very nice and sturdy in there but my god it took a hit what a shame though because if i can just show you the really sadness the really sadness I don't think that's English, do you? I don't think that's English. The really, well, I can't articulate, the, the sadness. I don't know. If I just show you that though and how 
cute it is or was it would have been very very cute plant is it going to focus today why does it keep finding it keeps finding a face in that spiritus guys it's trying really hard you can't see this but right here it's trying really hard to find a face so i'm just going to stand here and stop it from happening why that will it do it yes sorry about that but there isn't that sad this is not the only one it's happened with this is just the one i picked up to show you i if i could estimate how often it's happened five five or six maybe 50% of chops have done it again not horrific it'll grow new hopefully it'll obviously be variegated anyway but it just means that that can't go as is when it stabilizes and stuff like that that is literally a grow it out from scratch and luckily I have plenty of time till spring so if someone wants one in spring I'm sure it'll be fine I have loads that have definitely not failed and they look they look so gorgeous. But that's not what this video is, guys. This is the gnarliest video. So let me pop this down. I did just want to show you that. And just to show you that it happens, you can have all the experience in the world, but things can just happen. The temperature's not great in here anyway, actually, because it is winter. We're not heating it so much. What are we at now? Sorry, it keeps flashing at me, so I can't read it. I think it's 20, it's 22 degrees in here. It doesn't feel like it, to be honest. It feels like 19. It's very, very chilly. But I'm someone that gets chilly anyway. Oh, this is a good one. Now this has got neglected. I mean, this probably needs thrown away. This one, this one was a, 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 how do you put it? This one was a deliberate choice. And it's because the value just dropped. And it got to the point where taking care of it and feeding it and doing all that and giving it the time of day would cost me money rather than just leaving it. So <laughs> I'm now going to hold up this plant here, which you should know what it is. I bring it to the camera, then you will definitely know what it is. It's a shame because it's a lovely dark one. Because not all of them seem to go this dark. I'm going to show you that. That's a very beautiful looking pink princess. But as you may well know, these plants now have been tissue cultured the house. Okay, they're, they're literally everywhere. And they're pennies. They're absolute pennies. So there's not a lot to point me doing anything thing with this other than actually throwing it away and I know that sounds crazy guys I know that sounds crazy and I know what y'all are gonna say because every single time I make one of these videos everyone says the same thing everyone says why don't you let people buy it for a low price or why don't you let people have it for free and mail it out to them one if I mail it out to you it costs me money yes I know you can pay postage no one is going to want to pay the postage because it will cost them more than it would cost to just buy the plant anyway two could I give them away for free no this is not licensed to have the public on it so you can't come here and three, I'm not going to leave it outside in a random box at the location of my shop. That's a bad idea. Four, I'm not really going to leave it anywhere in a random box. Five, I'm not really going to give it to any shop because no shop would want this anyway. Do you get my point? Just to cover all bases again, because I, I do get comments every single time on these videos. Well, you could just do this. You could just do this. And it's like, well, I hear you, but no. It is actually sometimes, guys, just cheaper to chuck stuff. And if you think nurseries don't do that, by the way, oh, they do. Anyone that's worked in a garden center slash nursery knows fine well that this happens. It's just one of those things. It's one of those things. And I'm not saying every plant that would happen to, but in the case of these, it probably is. Because if I wanted some more Pink Princess back, I could probably just buy a tissue culture Pink Princess that looked a lot better than this. Do you know what I mean? This is pointless. This is obviously one I've had for so long and it's been propagated from. Hence it's sort of, it's sort of grown out from here like a little tree. So as much as it's a shame, there's no real point. There's no real point. So I have a, I have several of these. I maybe have about 10. It's taken up a tray. It doesn't need to. So I'm probably just going to chuck them. But it's not end of an era. As I say, these guys might come back around. But if they come back around, it's because they, they don't get tissue cultured anymore. And because they've hit mainstream garden centers, that kind of says to me that they, they will always be tissue cultured. It's when Thailand and Indonesia and places like that stop tissue culturing that things could come back around. Never say never, don't get me wrong, but there's not really any value in this. And unfortunately, guys, my aim as business is to make money. And I have to do that because the overheads on this place would make you cry. You would lose sleep over the overheads on this place. So I can't be doing that. Right. I've left the last one because it's just, it's so good. You just, you just have to see it in all its glory. This next one, I spoke about these plants recently because I forgot that I had them. Now that's, that's the reason for the neglect on this one. I just simply forgot they existed. I have this and then I have another one. I don't know why I'm looking over there. It's a it's a roll over. I have another one where it's like three in one pot. And I am actually going to revive these because I like these and I do, I do, I want to sell them again actually. I quite like them. And this shop does actually grow them okay. This one hasn't grown very well due to basically no water for like two years. So it's actually done really well. And it may surprise you to know that I'm talking about Aglaonema Pictum tricolor. This, I mean, it is tricolor. It's just, it looks so sad, guys. I hold this up to you. You can see how cute it does look. See, if anyone has not seen them before, they look very nice. 
basically camouflage on a houseplant. They are extremely, not velvety, they're just super, oh, I don't know, they're just super like matte and, and soft and they're very, very pretty to hold onto. But this one, as you can probably see, I'll show you the gnarly, it's no good just showing you the good bits. It's not looking so good. We've had some leaf drop along the way, but yet somehow it keeps on growing. And it's also flowered, as you can probably see. The dangly, I'll show you the dangly there. It's also flowered. So, hey, it tried to escape. I wouldn't let it. I said, no, you must stay here and die. So yeah, I've got two more of these. I am going to try with them at some point. Um, I might experiment propagating them. Now, there are buds further down on this. There's actually a bud here. I don't know if I'm going to get you to be able to see it. Can you see that? Like one of these things where I either see it in editing or I don't, but there is actually a bud somewhere on there. So I guess I'll see. Definitely going to give it a go because I do like these. I would have one in my house, but I'm pretty sure they're quite poisonous. But then again, most of the plants I want in my house are probably going to be quite poisonous. We'll see. Yeah, I want to do something with it, but that's the reason for that one. That is literally, I don't even know where they were before I found them. I found them, I think, at some point like a month ago. Hell only knows where I found them. I don't know. I literally don't know. Right, I've got one more gnarly to show you and then I wanted to end it on a slightly positive note of some positive changes I've noticed because I fed my feed to one of the plants that was not, just not looking great and it's looking better and I wanted to show you that because you should remember me feeding it on camera at some point a while ago. But before that, I'm going to show you this bad boy. So this one, this is a plant that is actually, I had it for a while and it, it did not look like this and trust me. But by the time I got to it, I kept meaning to propagate it and then I just didn't. But now it is it is in garden centres, garden centres, plant shops and stuff like that. Um, and it has been TC'd. Full disclosure, it's been TC'd. So again, it's not something I'm probably going to pick up. I've got other plants that I would rather propagate than this one. But this bad boy here, <laughs> look, he looks like this because he's actually grown across two trays in the unit. So he did look a bit more, you know, inclined one way, but he's just started to grow across things. So this is why he looks so stupid. This is philodendron fuzzy pet. Petiole. And he does have fuzzy petioles, if I could just enlighten you about petiole. Can I show you that there? Maybe. Depends. Depends if it allows focus on it. Maybe. Fill it in and fuzzy petiole. And it's there's not a lot of point in doing anything with it, guys, because it again it's been TC'd, so any energy I spent on this is probably not well spent at this point. You feel me? And I, I understand that's very sad. I completely get it, but it's not my houseplant collection, it's business. And I invite you to try and remember that when I hold this stuff up. But bless it, it came a long way. Like, it came a long way. You can see where it was looked after back in the day. The internodal spacing right here in front of me is much shorter than what it's ended up getting. I mean, look at the spacing between that versus you can see where the old, you can see where the aerial roots are, the, the old spacing. It's changed dramatically. It's got a little bit shorter here because it's obviously, it's grown across something, so I'm trying to grab it and it's found its way further up and now the internodal spacing is a little bit shorter again but you can really see how that has suffered over the either year to two years i think that i've had this you can really see the suffrage so bless its heart that is philodendron fuzzy patio very much alive and well there's just not a lot of point in doing anything for him i may as well go and buy a tissue cultured one and keep it why because they're no different from these Who's to say this wasn't TC'd? Bloody hell, it's still alive, isn't it? God. Right. The last thing I want to show you is a plant that I repotted it on camera a while ago. Don't know when. And I fed it a little bit to see if I could shorten the the leaf to petiole ratio on the plant. So I fed it with this, if anyone's wondering. It's my feed. It's what I talked about at the beginning of the video. Let me just grab it because it's it's given me two new leaves. Sorry, my camera just does not want to focus on my face. Let me just see if I can help by putting the aperture up maybe. That'll have gone dark, but it might focus on my face a little bit better. Um, it's given me two new leaves and they definitely look a little bit better. So let me just show you this one second. But I want to show you it because you can use my feed for different things. And if a plant is happy, it should should just look a bit different anyway. So I wanted to show you it. So I'll pick it up. So this is, what is it? Oh my God. I might have this idea wrong. Whatever I said it was, that's what it was. I think it's Thormatophyllum. 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 William C.I. Is that wrong? If it is wrong, feel free to scream at me in the comments. That's perfectly acceptable. So we have... Two new leaves here, right? And yes, there is some some browning. That's my fault. So we have two new leaves here, but notice the old ones. I want to show you the, the leaf to petiole ratio on the old ones. So what do I mean by that? I literally mean, as I say, so the length of this 
compared to the length and size of the leaf is what I was looking to um, improve, right? So the old leaves, we have one here. Now, don't get me wrong before I continue. This plant is known for not having a great ratio anyway. Certain plants just do. This is definitely one of them. Thormatophyllum genuinely, generally, sorry, can, can be like this. But anyway, this is what I was kind of working with at the start. It's very, very, very long to get from the petiole to the leaf. And the leaf isn't huge. It's not huge. So she fed it. And luckily, I'm not saying it's a drastic improvement, but you can definitely see it. I don't know if I can show you there and you can see. So sometimes the petiole, there's two new leaves we're talking about, obviously. If I could just show you this, the ratio is just looking better and better as this plant grows. So this is the newest leaf here, right? If I could show you the size of this leaf, it looks pretty good. And the ratio on the petiole has gone down. If I hold it there, you can kind of see what's happening. And the old, if I rotate it this way, I realize it's very difficult to do and the camera's probably not helping me. It's still focusing on me, so that's not so bad but the old length is a lot worse than the new length. Still, not the best plant in the world. This plant is always going to look a bit leggy because it's life and that's just how thormatophyllum tend to be. They have like a firework formation here and they just have very straight petioles. They don't tend to veer off. They're very, very, just very rigid, I suppose. And then you get whatever you get on the leaf. There are some better thormatophyllums. I personally love the African Fantasy. I think that's beautiful. That has a much bigger paddlier leaf on it. This, not so much. And I'm sure you can get them better than this, but I think you'd have to work at it because naturally this plant doesn't seem to want to do it. But my feed has definitely helped. Also, this is variegated. And you might be thinking, yeah, well, it's green. That's why it's bigger. No, no, no. If I just hide my face with that, hopefully, I really hope you can see that it, there's actually a load of variegation there. It's just not quite come in yet. Why? Because it's yellow and a lot of yellow variegation is Polaroid. So you will see it in a bit later on. But that is it anyway. That is my little positive note I want to leave it on. Nothing ground breaking not trying to suggest it is but it's definitely improving over time and that's starting to look a bit better definitely uh once we get into better lighting better growing season it'll be better still because i think when i did this we're coming to the end of summer and it's very dark in here right now i don't know if it looks dark but it is actually very dark so i'm not expecting great things from that but the improvement was great also this guy gets fed with it a lot my feed that's done so well it actually needs it needs chopped actually it's a bit too big now it's got another leaf coming out people keep asking me what i think this is by the way um and a lot of people write in the comments oh it's mudinum it's not i think it's the other one i can't can't be sure and I don't know if it's a hybrid of both but I think it's closer to is it red beauty because of how what was the difference it was something to do with the petiole insertion I think this is quite red when it comes in so I think but I'm not certain it might be red beauty whatever it is it's absolutely brilliant I don't know what color that looks on camera but believe me when I say it's borderline black it is wonderful and it's not actually in highlight who knew anyway that's it for this week's video those are my uglies minus the last one of course which is becoming a little bit less ugly which is great um let me know what you want to see in future videos i'm going to be planning some content for christmas slash new year so if you have any requests please leave them down below i do also leave little question boxes on instagram on my stories and stuff like that if you want to fill those in that's great as well but i hope you enjoyed this video and please remember guys everyone's got uglies everyone's got uglies all they're doing is just not putting them on instagram okay please remember that don't sit at home thinking i'm a shit plant parent everyone's got this shit right they will either throw it out or push it out of a camera frame i'm telling you now i'm telling you now anyway thank you very much for watching guys if you'd like my merch link is in the description if you'd like to try my feed and you're in the uk link is in the description and until then i guess i will see you in the next video thanks guys bye bye